Hello, everybody. Late night, Los Angeles, and taking some time out to do another video in the new series, Catholic Terms Explained, that I'm getting such great feedback on. And this video is going to be about canonization, which is such an interesting and very confusing term to many in the church. And let's just talk about it being a process on the way to sainthood. Okay, it's one step in the process on the way to sainthood. And you have to understand that the process of becoming a saint does have a slight political aspect to it. In that somebody has to say, this person led an exemplary, godlike life and should be a saint. And so the process begins, the various steps have to take place in order, but there is a kind of a campaign. Now, it's not like a political campaign you'd see today. There's not TV commercials, but there is a certain amount of advocacy that is allowed and encouraged. And canonization is the process of printing up t-shirts, whether they be text t-shirts or graphic t-shirts, but t-shirts that support and advocate the sainthood of a deceased person and shoots the t-shirts out of t-shirt cannons at public and sporting events around the country. Now, in the old days, in, the, in biblical times or in the early, let's say in the first 10 centuries, okay, A.D., the first 10 centuries of A.D., they didn't have t-shirt cannons. But they did have garments that they would write inscriptions and they would roll them up and throw them to the crowds. So people think the t-shirt cannon is a, is a new thing. It's not. The cannon part is, okay, and hence the word canonization, which evolved through the church over the years. But the whole idea of advocating for a saint is not new. And so they would write inscriptions on garments and throw them into the crowds. In fact, there's even been, t been talk of people throwing these garments with inscriptions supporting different saints uh, at the Colosseum during the Christians and the Lions matches, that kind of thing. But canonization is, is, has evolved to today where you could go to most major sporting events all over the world, it doesn't matter, just whatever, wherever large crowds are gathering. So perhaps in uh, Africa, it would be at a soccer match, uh, as same with Europe. Whereas here in the United States, it might be a football game. In Canada, it might be a football game, it might be a hockey game. All right, and it doesn't necessarily have to be a sport. It could be a school assembly. It could be a softball match between your company and that rival company across town that for somehow, some, some way, every softball season, they seem to have much larger and much bigger and more talented players than you see in the field. You're in the same industry. You're in the same niche or niche, however you want to say it. And you see their workers around town. You see their workers coming and going to their plant. You've met people that are married to or friends with people in that industry, at that company. And, and somehow during softball season, the players on their team seem to be much larger and bigger and quicker and more talented than the average everyday worker that you see on the street. Uh, you're not, you're not, you're not suggesting that they're, they're bringing in ringers, but it does seem a little suspect. Okay. Even those games, you could have a t-shirt cannon and shoot the name of a potential saint into the crowd with your t-shirt cannon, with the support that you're lending on the t-shirt. So canonization really is a, really a broader term that talks about supporting and advocating for a saint and is one of the steps on the way to sainthood. Guys, I hope that helps. 
let me know if there's Catholic terms that you want to explain that we haven't. Now, we just started, but we're, we're going to get to most of the, the big ones that people ask a lot about. But if you're not hearing something that you want to learn about, let me know. Get on the Twitter machine. Get on the YouTuber. Leave a comment, and I'll get to it. Hope that helps.